Hi guys, this is Diane Hogarth, Millionaire Mom, with my course, Automate Your Business. This part, I'm going to show you how to make a capture page, landing page, a squeeze page, sales funnel, call it what you like. Right, so in Builderall, you press on drag and drop pixel perfect, and then I've gone on to sales funnels. Then it comes up with a choice of sales funnels. You can have a selection, which we won't go into. Uh, the one I want today is the lead magnet funnel. So you can give away something free to get people onto your list. Okay, so in, in this section here, you can actually watch how to do it and then learn, do, teach, then you do it and then you can teach somebody else how to do it. It's really easy actually. They've simplified it lots. So basically I have a seven steps to success on Facebook Blueprint. That is going to be my lead magnet. So in order to keep, all you have to do is double click and then you know you can change it once you've got that in. So if I want this here to be light blue, this, so you have to keep, there we go. So the seven steps to face. This takes like five minutes. So your Facebook blueprint. Oops, I can't spell blueprint. So this is gonna go light blue now, look, dark blue. The seven step to Facebook blueprint is now out. So all you do, whoops, a daisy, is, whoops, so you get confused with the colours, is now available. Okay. Then I want to just put in attract clients to you with this seven steps formula. There you go. Then you might click on the image. <laughs> And you can change the image. Obviously, if you've got a logo, you can change your logo or you can just delete it if you don't need it. I'm just leaving it in for this. Inside Builder All, look, there's hundreds and beautiful pictures. So I just want to show you nature. So I'm going to give a freedom lifestyle picture. Oh, look at that one with the tree. That's the pretty. You can choose any one of these that you like, that you like, that would would advertise or inspire people to click onto your funnel. So let's just pick this one. You need the little blue dot, blue tick there. So now, oh, look at this. I want to go there. Okay, you can make it bigger. One sec. Make it bigger. Move it up and down. Okay. So the next thing that you need to do is to configure your emails. And as usual, you have to save everything, the golden rule of everything when you're doing a website. 
is by Anne Seven Steps. There, that'll do. Okay, so that's what my document is now called. Okay. So to configure the emails, you have to choose mailing boss because that's the one that's integrated already. And then I've all, you can choose email marketing, for example, because that one I'll show you what to do with later. Or you can name it something that's linked to your free gift. Okay, so that's page one. Page two is now that name's disappeared there because that did you notice that was name and email and now it's now it's just email. It's because in the second step, when you're setting up your emails, you can configure it whether you want the name or the email or the name and the email. Okay, so to get the second page of this funnel. It's here, look. And you can put a video on or not. You can put your own message on here. Thank you for, here we go. Thank you for um what can you say thank you for or you could actually say your seven your seven steps blueprint is on this page whoops a daisy I think this is too long. We'll be with you shortly. Come on, Di. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to delete everything. Put your cars there. Yeah, look. This is live, girls and boys. Um. There you go. Oh, I've put on the next page. Thank you for your trust to help me your business. Oops. Okay, so you can have a video there if you want. I say thank you for subscribing. Your your gift will be with you shortly, or you can tell them a little bit more about you. But in this instance, we don't want this section. So, how do I get rid of this section? You right click. In fact, let's right click on the section. And delete it. Oops, a daisy. The button's disappeared. Oh my god. Let's put another button on. In this in this section here, you can add another piece of text. You can add a picture. Where's the button gone? Here's the button. Right. Button. And let's have we, we, oh, they've got different colours look. So you can choose any colour you want. So for the purpose of this one, let's just go this one here. And then I can, you can right click on it.
and you can change the text and you can put click here click here right in fact let's put another photo in here because we can let's see if we can find another image so you just click on an image move it up and again you can just change the image and put another inspirational one in if you wish so let's see just for the purpose of this one let's choose one of these I like that one. No, I don't. <laughs> Let's do an inspirational one. Image collection, nature. Let's have a look. Nature. Oh, look. This one. I like this one. That's me on the beach. Oh, it's me in a canoe. Okay, again, you can make it bigger, make it smaller, whatever you want to do. So you've configured the button, you've configured everything else. Now, to get them to your action, this is the call bit. You can actually send it in a document, I mean, in an email, but in this instance, you don't even have to configure emails. So normally the thank you page would be without a button. And then you'd put thank you for subscribing, check your inbox in five minutes and it will be sent to you in your inbox. But this is a bit sneaky. Look at this. Action, document, uh, file search, upload, and let me see where I'll put it. Documents in here, PDF. Boom. Wait for it to load. Okay, confirm. Hang on. You need the little tick, otherwise it won't work. Okay, that's it guys and girls. That's how you make a basic capture page in builder all the next one don't forget to save it the next one will be how to configure your emails see you on the next video